Hey guys, it's Jake here with the trailer Today we're going to be taking a look at the Blue Ox Patriot Portable Supplemental Braking System. Now there's a lot of reasons of why you might be looking into a portable braking system, but what really makes the Blue Ox Patriot shine is its smaller size. In their past versions, the Patriot 1, 2, and 3, the unit itself was a lot larger, so it didn't fit very well in a lot of floorboards. Well, they've made the same machine in a lot smaller package so that you can get it to fit in those tighter spaces. Um, the other reason into looking into a portable system, which you may already know your reason, um, but a portable system is going to be able to be able to move from vehicle to vehicle. So if you have multiple vehicles in your family and you want to flat tow with both of them, the only thing that you'll have to add is a breakaway switch on both vehicles. Otherwise, the Blue Ox Patriot can simply be moved from one floorboard to the other. This is what the braking system is going to look like when it's installed in your vehicle. There's only one wire that hooks up to the front of our braking system. That's going to be your breakaway wire. And then you're going to have a 12 volt wire that comes down off the back side and plugs into a 12 volt outlet. And one of the things that people like about the Blue Ox Patriot 3 is that it is much smaller than the Blue Ox Patriot 2. Not only is it a portable system, but it's going to be able to fit in the floorboard of a lot of different vehicles. We are inside the floorboard of a 2023 Ford Escape right now and it is not a very big floorboard and you can see how much more room we have because of how small it is. To get the Patriot set up um, it's going to be very very simple and I think this is one of the biggest selling points for it is that it's very very simple to get set in place. Um, the first time you set it up you're going to have to make some adjustments to these screws. You'll have three different locations um, that you'll need to match up to your brake pedal. Um, again, in our Ford Escape, we've got a medium-sized pedal, so we went for the metal screw holes. But to get it set up, you simply open the jaws by pulling up on this until it clicks into place. We'll set our system in place. We'll slide it over, over top of the brake pedal. You want to stay away from this arm. If you've got one, if it's centered, you can usually uh, stagger the the fingers over it and then push this button. It'll grab on to the brake pedal, make some minor adjustments, make sure that it's pushing straight. This is when you'll adjust your seat. So since we're using that lower bracket, you want it to sit like that. Then we'll take our 12 volt, plug it in. If you do not have a 12 volt in your vehicle that runs all the time, you're definitely going to want to install an auxiliary one um, that is directly connected to the battery, which we do have on our website. And all you have to do is take your breakaway switch wire, plug it in, turn the unit on. Let's see, we'll want to move it back just a hair. You're gonna have flashing blue and green lights that will tell you whether or not it's set up correctly. Now you'll know you've got it set up correctly um, when you've got just a little bit of play in the unit, not much at all, I'd say about an eighth of an inch from the seat and that your brake pedal is completely relaxed. So you can pull back on the brake and it does not come back any further. And then all you have to do is press setup. It will do one trial run, it'll pull back, and then you're ready to hit the road. Now let's go over the components that are involved in getting this kit installed. This is gonna be a huge component why a lot of people like this kit um, is one, it's gonna be portable, and two, it's gonna take next to nothing to get it installed. The only thing that you will have to install is going to be the wire that is for your breakaway switch. And then you'll have to install the breakaway switch on the front of your vehicle, typically mounted to the base plate. Um, the only other thing that you may or may not have in your vehicle, which we already mentioned, is that you'll want to have an always active 12 volt plug. There are some vehicles, like I know my vehicle has a 12 volt plug that has a battery on it. That means that that is always on 24 seven. There are some vehicles that can kind of trick you that you you may test it with a cell phone charger or something like that that has an LED on it. 
and whenever you see it, you get out of your vehicle, turn it off, and you can still see the LED on. You want to check on that or check in your owner's manual. Um, that will definitely tell you whether or not that outlet is always active. A lot of newer vehicles will have an outlet that is active for 30 minutes after the vehicle is turned off. Um, but if you do that and you head down the road, your braking system, you're going to be able to test the system. It will show that it's working, but then 30 minutes down the road, your braking system is not going to work. So um, if you have to install a 12 volt outlet, you definitely, definitely can do that. It's not difficult. It just connects up to the battery with a fuse holder. Um, and then you've got constant power going to your braking system. But other than that, that's it. That's going to be your wire, your breakaway switch, and then your 12 volt outlet. These are the jaws that are gonna clamp down onto your brake pedal. Right now we've got it in the highest setting. We haven't adjusted it yet for our vehicle, but you've got those three height adjustment sets. Uh, this is the button that you'll push in order to lock it down to your brake pedal. Um, and I will say, I do like how strong this spring is on the inside. It's got a little finger tab on the back for you to clip it open. You can release it, take it off your brake pedal, and it's ready for you for the next time. On the back side of the grip, you'll have an adjustment set screw that you can loosen and this allows you to really fine tune it to your vehicle. So if you have a larger floorboard and you can't get your seat to come up any further, they do make extensions for this so that you can get it out a little bit further to better fit the floorboard of your vehicle. On the back side, this is where you'll find the knob to adjust the seat brace. Um, you've got five different positions so you can really fine tune it to fit your seat. The nice part about this is you're only ever going to have to do this once. Once you get it set to the seat um, how you like it, I will say setting this up with automatic seats is a little bit more difficult than with a stationary seat that just goes forward and backwards. Because a seat that goes forward and backwards, you could just move it to a correct position, get it all set up, and then maybe mark the side of your seat or the bracket on the bottom so that you know exactly where to put it. I have heard of people setting their, their one of their two presets for their seat um, to actually fit their Blue Ox Patriot and not another person. Because the Patriot has such a strong pushing power on your brake pedal, that means it's gonna need a good backing to be able to push against. So it's gonna butt up against your seat and then push your brake pedal. Well, again, because it's that strong, it needs something more stiff to be able to push off of. Typically we see with cloth seats, um, it's, it can be an issue because the cloth doesn't have any rigidity to it. Uh, leather seats is usually not a problem because the leather will not allow it to stretch too much. Definitely with cloth seats, you might look into getting the seat stiffener, which you simply just pull off these hook and loop fasteners. You'll peel this off, stick it to the back side of your Patriot, and now this whole bridge here is what's going to push on that seat. So it's a lot larger surface area, and it's a very, very stiff um, piece that is designed to give your Blue Ox Patriot something else to push off of. Feet on the bottom are also going to be adjustable so you can spin them in, spin them out. They're going to have little teeth on the bottom that are designed to bite into your carpeting. So if you have floor mats in there that are rubber, um, you'll definitely want to take those out so that this can bite into your carpet. If you have factory floor mats and they're not hooked in anywhere, it might also be a good idea to take the factory floor mats out, even if they're carpet, take those out so that this can stick to the carpet that is glued to the body of your vehicle. Your kit is also going to come with a monitor that will go inside the RV. Uh, the monitor is going to show you when the brakes are being applied. It'll have a manual override so that if you, in an emergent situation, you can apply the brakes in the vehicle that you're towing um, and not have to hit the brakes in the RV. It's much like having a brake controller in your vehicle, um, except you'll have this as your brake controller and then the system is going to be mounted inside of your vehicle. Now to explain the buttons that are on our monitor, you'll have the force button. Simply press that and you can adjust the force of your braking system. So if you feel like the vehicle is still pushing the RV a little bit, um, you'll have to really pay attention to the vehicle behind you. It all depends on how much the vehicle itself weighs. So you may have to um, bump the force up a little bit or bring it down a little bit if you've got a little bit too much. We've also got the main menu, which has a whole lot of different options. So you can change the sensitivity. Um, you can 
pair it with the device if it doesn't want to pair automatically ours paired automatically you have the braking backlight um, the max force and then you have your reset settings and then you'll also for nighttime driving you'll have a light button and we notice that when we turn this on it's a very gentle light so um, you may not have to use it unless it is uh, pitch black outside but you won't have to use any other lights in your RV to be able to see the screen by using the light function. Now when it comes to choosing a place to mount this in the driver's seat of your RV, I definitely recommend putting it on the driver's side. It might be tempting if you don't have any flat surfaces like we have here on our driver's side um, to put it on the passenger side, but I would not recommend that because if the passenger falls asleep or um, if you, you can't reach it, if it slides over something like that, um, that's not, pretty, not gonna be good if you can't see the monitor itself. So I would definitely say try to find a place here that it's easy to reach while you're driving. So if you have a brake controller in your vehicle, um, that's always a good place to put it near where that would typically be. So when I'm driving, I typically will drive with my left hand or my right hand, um, but mainly my left. So I would mount it with the hook and loop fastener pad that comes with your kit. You've got this little rubber pad that you can set up on the dash if you have a flat spot. Uh, but like in this vehicle, I would take it and put it right here on our dash. Now, another thing to keep in mind is if you need to take the leveling feet off of the Patriot, you can definitely do that. There's actually a lot of cases where it, act it works better like this than it does with the feet. Um, we get a lot of questions about the Blue Ox Patriot falling down when the brake pedal is depressed. Um, you go to test your system, it seems like it's nice and leveled out, but then the unit's nose, it, it takes a nose dive and it doesn't look right because it's not really sitting level. Well, in those cases, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be because you need to take the feet off, take your floor mat out and set the unit flat on the vehicle's factory carpet. And a lot of times when you're doing this, it's not a bad idea to pair it with that stiffener so that it has a really good base to push off the seat. The breakaway switch that comes with your kit is gonna to have to be mounted on the front of your vehicle somewhere. Um, if you're fortunate enough to have a base plate that has a tab on it for the breakaway switch, that works out great because you just use the bolt included and you get your breakaway switch mounted up. Ours on our vehicle did, so that's why it turned out so clean. Um, you can use a bracket that we have on our website. Those, are, those work great to be able to mount up the breakaway switch, but you're just gonna want this in a safe and secure spot so that when um, or if you have a unlikely disconnect, um, the breakaway switch will be pulled and the brakes are going to be applied by the Patriot. When comparing this to a more permanent installation, there's a couple of reasons why you would go with a portable over a permanent option. Um, if you're looking into portable systems, you probably already know your reason, but a few of the reasons that we see is that um, a lot of people have lease vehicles that they don't want a permanent system installed in. They have multiple vehicles in their, their home that they want to be able to flat tow either one. So you might go on different style of trips where you'd like to take one vehicle over the other. A prime example is a lot of people like going off-roading, so they'll take their Jeep, Jeep on one trip and then they'll take their sedan like an Escape on a different trip if they don't plan on doing any off-roading. And if you plan on doing something like that, this system's really going to shine because you're going to be able to use this same Patriot unit in both of your vehicles. The only thing you'll have to buy is a second breakaway switch and then the wire that runs up to the floorboard. And I'll say the biggest reason that people go with the Blue Ox Patriot is because of the installation time for any permanently mounted system. Um, like the Stay and Play Duo, the Air Force One, those are, I would say, my favorite permanent systems because they're for air brakes or electric brakes. Um, but both of those systems take a lot to install. They take several hours to get installed and they're permanently mounted to that vehicle. So chances are you're not going to take them back out if you decide to get a new vehicle. When it comes to this system, all you have to do is either get a new breakaway switch and the wire or pull this one out, which doesn't take very long, and move it to your new vehicle. The other thing with those permanently mounted systems is there are a lot of factory wires that you have to tap into and sometimes you have to tap into the vacuum line on your brake booster in order to get the system to work properly because that's what's going to help release the brakes when those permanently mounted systems 
are installed. Well guys, all in all, I think the Blue Ox Patriot braking system is going to be a great option if you're looking for a portable braking system. Um, again, I think that the permanently installed systems are really, really good, but that's if you're absolutely 100% sold on it and maybe if you're having somebody else install it. Those systems are very, very difficult to install and this one is not. This one is something you can do in your own garage because it only involves running one wire, two if you have to run your own 12 volt outlet. But other than that, all it takes to get it installed is setting it in the floorboard as you saw. Well guys, hopefully this video helped you decide whether or not the Blue Ox Patriot portable supplemental braking system is right for you and your flat toe setup.